Does everyone know what time it is? Cooler! That's right. Crunch for Tools is proud to present Clem the Cool Man Nailer. Thank you, Heidi, and welcome to Cool Time. I am Clem the Cool Man Nailer, and you all know my assistant, Hal Troyman. I guess you've noticed it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So, in the spirit of things, we'd like to do a special Cool Time salute to Christmas lights. That's right, Clem. Today we'll be decorating our five foot three inch Minnesota Spark Lily pan. Uh, Clem, if you'll take these. Gee, Hal, these aren't as heavy as I expected. Say, do you suppose that's why they call them Christmas lights? I don't think so, Clem. As I was saying, we'll be decorating our Minnesota Spark Lily pan with these various strands of Crenshaw six volt, one half amp DC, multicolor twinkle variable light sets. You know how I was thinking. Oh no. And don't you think that instead of doing the same old thing with those little cute Christmas lights, this year we should do something bigger? Uh, Ken, I don't know if you remember. Something that cries out to jolly old Saint Nick, miles above the earth, and says, Hey, fat boy, land that sucker right here. <laughs> so, I took the liberty to have some special lights made up. These are 120 volt AC 10 and 2000 watt super sparkle ultra bulbs. Clem, I don't think that's such a good idea. Remember your last project with lights? Your eyebrows have just begun to grow back. Hal, would you relax? I had Joe, our very own lighting technician, design these especially for the show. <laughs> you always want to be sure that every socket has a bulb in it. And be careful, light bulbs do get hot. That's right, Al. And you want to make sure that the tree has plenty of water and that the lights are not in direct contact with any flammable objects. You don't want to start a fire. <laughs> oh, Clem, I can't believe this. You've ruined Christmas. How can we have Christmas without a tree? We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Say, Nelson, is that you? Right here, good neighbor Clem. What's on your mind? Well, this morning on Cool Time, we take our Christmas episode. Uh -huh. And I screwed up big time. You don't say. Yeah, I tried to hook up these really high-powered Christmas lights. Things didn't quite work out like I planned. Uh, I see. But then Hal got all upset, and now he thinks I'm ruling Christmas because I burnt down one little Christmas tree. Well, you know, Clem, I'm reminded of the time when Moses left his father-in-law, Jethro, and his sheep and trekked up the great Mount Horeb, where he came to a burning bush. And he noticed that although the bush was on fire, it was not consumed by the fire. As he approached the bush, he heard a voice speak to him. You know why, Clem? God spoke to Moses from that burning bush. So, you think I should go back over there and listen to the charred remains of the Christmas tree? Oh, no, Clem. I don't think there's any use in that. But maybe God is talking to you through that burning tree. Oh, 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 oh I see. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Jesus' birthday. Oh, I think you're right, Clem. 
I guess I acted like a real chucklehead. No, don't worry about it, Hal. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Clem. And Merry Christmas to all of you out there from all of us at Cool Time. <laughs>